All right, guys, Mr. McLean here, and we're going to do a quick lesson on a review lesson on solving systems of equations using equal values method. So solving systems of equations. And our method is equal values method. And you've got notes on this, you may remember, but we're still going to go through review real quickly. So let's say this is our system, y equals 2x minus 5, and y equals the opposite of x plus 4. Now if we graphed those two equations, they'd both be lines, and there'd be a point of intersection, a place where the two lines intersect each other. And so that's what it means to solve a system of equations. Solving a system of equation means to find the point of intersection, which is an ordered pair on a graph. But the method we're going to use isn't using a graph. It's an algebraic method. And the idea is this. Since this quantity is equal to y, and the bottom quantity is also equal to y, if I replace this y with the top quantity, it makes a true equation. Because those quantities both equal y, we can set them equal to each other. So 2x minus 5 equals the opposite of x plus 4. And if we solve that equation, we'll get the x value of the point of intersection. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this equation. I'm going to add the x because I would prefer to avoid negative x's if I can. And that's going to get me that 3x minus 5 equals a 4. So we're going to push that 5 to the right to get the x's isolated. We're going to add 5. And that gets me that 3x equals to 9. And so if we divide, that tells us that the x value of the point of intersection is 3. All right. Now, that's just part of it. We need to know what this y value is. So we're going to get the y value. And I'm going to use, I think I'll use the bottom equation, even though it's got the negative there. So y is the opposite of whatever x is, then add 4. And we said that we think the x is 3. So now if we simplify this, opposite of 3 is the same thing as negative 3. And that's telling me that the y value is 1. All right. So now we think that the point of intersection is at 3, negative 1. But we're going to check just to be safe. So we're going to do a check. And that means I'll use the equation I didn't use up here. This one says that y is 2 times the x, then subtract 5. And we still believe that the x is 3. So 6 minus 5 is also 1. So since those y values agree, that means that this is the correct point of intersection for the system. Okay, let's just do one more, and then I'll send you off to do some practice. All right, so new system. y equals 3x minus 7. Oops. And y equals x minus 3. And again, since those quantities both equal y, I can set them equal to each other. And that gets me this equation that 3x minus 7 equals x minus 3. So let's subtract this x over. And that's going to give me the simplified equation that 2x minus 7 equals, and that's a negative 3 that's coming down. Let's add 7 over to get the x's by themselves. 2x equals 4. And we'll divide. 
and that gets me x equals 2. So according to that, my point of intersection is at 2 comma something. Uh, x value is 2. All right, so we need to get this y value. So I will use, I think, the bottom equation. y equals whatever x is, minus 3. And we said that the x was 2. 2 minus 3, negative 1. So according to that equation, the y value is negative 1. OK, last step. We're going to do this check just to be safe. And this time I need to use the top equation. 3 times whatever x is, then subtract 7. And we think that the x is 2 still. So that gets me 6 minus 7. And that's also negative 1. So because those check, that means this is the correct point of intersection, the solution for that system. All right, guys, well, hopefully that jogs your memory. I'm going to send you off to try some of the practice problems and let me know how you do. All right, good luck.